Welcome to Matt's Reloading Bench. Today we're going to be working on getting this Christensen Arms 6.5 PRC broken in and to get all 100 pieces of the brass fire formed. So with this break in process what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to fire one round and clean the barrel and I'm going to do that five times. And once I have five rounds through the barrel then I'm going to up it to five round groups and then I'm going to clean the barrel. So five shots clean the barrel, five shots, clean the barrel. Don't get much better than that. Yeah, just a little <laughs> high? No, I'm like this much low. All right, so I got the first shot down range. We're gonna go ahead and clean this baby. I'll be using patch out to clean out my bore. Get a good amount of it on a patch. I like to saturate it pretty heavily. Then just run it down the bore nice and slow. And that's dirty. Really dirty. Just from one shot. Now what I'll do is I'll take some wipe out, put it on my brush, and I'll run that down the length about 10 times. One thing that you want to make sure of is that the brush goes all the way out past the end of the muzzle so that you're not trying to fold the bristles back while you're still in the, uh, the bore of the barrel. Now I'll go back with a clean patch. And run that through nice and slow. And it's still very dirty. I will run clean dry patches through until it's clean. One of the main reasons that I like using this bore guide is it keeps all of your solutions and solvents out of the chamber and just going through the barrel. All the excess stuff stays in here and it doesn't get all over in the action compartment where the bolt's going to be sliding in and out. I'm satisfied with how clean the patches are. So I'll remove this, set it off to the side. Wipe any excess solvent off that may have dripped on the gun. And 
we'll go for our second shot. All right, so I've got all of the five one-shot groups done with cleaning in between. Now we're ready to start firing with five-shot groups with a cleaning in between. All right, five shots down range. Time to take the bolt out, clean it again. Bam. All of them are touching. I tell you what, so far, I am really impressed with this rifle. Right now, I'm only shooting it at 50 yards because I didn't have the scope bore sighted at all. So I got it bore sighted and just bullet touching bullet touching bullet. Like I said, it's only 50 yards, but I'm still happy with the results that I'm getting. And uh, so, that was my last five shot group that I have to do. I'm gonna go ahead, tear this apart, clean it down one last time, and then I'm gonna move over to the 100 yard range and uh, see what I have for grouping down there. So I moved over to the 100 yard range with the 6.5 PRC just to see what I'm getting for groups. And I had my chronograph for something else that I was doing. And I'm just curious as to see what my loads are getting. This thing is freaking awesome. I cannot wait to get some load development going with the 153 grain quantity A tips. This thing's the tack driver and it's just some standard low pressure round uh, that's only putting out like 2300 feet per second. I can't wait to get with the heavier bullet and with a higher charge just to see what we have going. This is really cool. Well guys, I do have to say, shooting this rifle was a lot of fun and I cannot wait to get into the actual loading process to make rounds that actually count. I do want to point out that during the shoot, I had some excellent groups for this being the first shots out of the rifle. Now that the brass is all fire formed, I'm going to go through my resizing process that I use for all of my rifle cartridges. Once that's done, I'm going to start loading ladder tests using Rotumbo, H1000, and just for the heck of it, I'm going to use the Vitivori 24N41. The muzzle velocity for the Vitivori powder is much lower than uh, the other powders 
according to published load data on their website. But I figure what the heck, what can it hurt? If you like my video, let me know. Subscribe, hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, let me know by putting it in the comment section down below. Until next time, shoot straight and be safe.